Donna, let me show you the 905, the region we're talking about. It's a horseshoe-shaped region around Toronto, 30 seats. Most of them are Liberal Red. But beyond the border of the 905, a solid wall of Conservative Blue. And that is the choice in the 905. It really is either Liberals. Here in Oakville, you've knocked on thousands and thousands of doors and made thousands more phone calls. Keep it up! <laughs> or Conservatives. Far too many people across the region are trapped in gridlock every day. Far too many people, especially young people, are priced out of the housing market. No other party has ever had success in the region. Ed Broadbent is the only New Democrat to win here in the last 60 years. Now, while the 25 seats in Toronto are usually reliably liberal, and the 34 seats in Alberta are reliably conservative, the 30 ridings in the 905 have often changed hands over the years. That electoral volatility, combined with the sheer number of seats in the region, has given the 905 an outsized influence on our national politics. And that's why we're going to pay so much attention to this region on election night, and specifically to the ridings on the borders. Ridings like Milton, where in 2019, liberal Olympic kayaker Adam Vancouverton beat conservative Lisa Ray. Or also on the northern border near Vaughan, two ridings home to the largest concentration of Italian Canadian voters. Or where you are, Donna, in Brampton. Five ridings, huge South Asian population, all went conservative in 2011 when Stephen Harper won his majority, all snapped back red to Justin Trudeau when he won in 2019. One final tidbit about the 905 and the GTA, there's never been a prime minister in our history to hold any one of these ridings. So if the MP for Durham, Aaron O'Toole, can win this thing, well, that'll be a first. Donna. Okay, lots at play there, David Aiken in Ottawa, thanks.